Rejoice in the Lord this day. Rejoice in the Lord this hour. Rejoice in Him. Rejoice in the Lord. And forget not His benefits. Just give him a clap of her and say, Lord, I choose to rejoice no matter what I go through. I choose to rejoice, Lord. Today I choose to rejoice. I don't care what they told me yesterday. I told I don't care what they told me in the morning. I choose to rejoice in you. Hallelujah. We are going to praise him in the African way. Lord, we give you the praise. Lord, we give you the honor. Jesus Christ, we exalt you because there is no any other name that was given authority in heaven, on earth, even under the earth. Your name is exalted above every other name. That at the mention of your name.
Hallelujah. Praise be to God. It's your friend and pastor, Samson Benon Kavoko, right here at Set Free Life Church. I pray that the Lord continues to minister to you, continues to bless you. Thank you for following us online. Thank you. I know you're being blessed. I know God is doing something inside of you. It is the reason you're still alive. And we have no other better thing to do than to say praise the Lord, than to say thank you, Jesus, than to say, Jesus, take all the glory, take all the praise, take all the honor, take all the worship. Lord, we are so grateful that you have given us life. You've given us breath. Here we are alive. Many have died. Many are ailing. Many are encamped in hospitals. But we are here, King of glory. And we shall continually listen to thy word. We thank you for July month, a month of good news. We bless you. We have confidence. We have faith in you that you are downloading good news every other day. Even today, even this week, you're giving us good news. We are being blessed. We are being healed. We are being renewed. We are being freed from every bondage, from every curse, from every shame, from every scar, from every seed of enemy. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you. As we enter the world, may you speak to us. May you encourage us. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. This afternoon, I have something precious for you. Something that will never leave you the same in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will listen immediately and do what the word tells you to do. When I look at what is happening all over the globe, there are every sign that God is not happy. There is every evidence that God is angry with man. There is every sign that the Lord is confused at the behavior of man, at the actions of man. It has reached him. The cries of many have reached God Almighty. And there is a call, there is a sound that our God is sounding. But still very few are listening, very few are hearing him. I want to resound that. It is a call to repentance. God has made it clear. He wants us back to him. He wants our hearts back to him. He wants us to cry back to him. He is calling each one of you listening to me back to his throne back to where he is in the name of Jesus and so our message today is about repentance and I call unto you listening shall you humble yourself shall you do a you turn shall you forsake your wicked ways shall you forsake the wicked thoughts shall you get away from that way of wickedness and evil and iniquity and begin a new path of following Jesus Christ we are going to read in Genesis chapter 6 Genesis chapter 6 from verses 5 from verses 5 to 8 the Bible says and God saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart and the Lord said I will destroy man whom I have from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the falls of the air, for it repents me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, when I look at our times now, when I look at 2021, it is not any different from the times of Noah. The times of Noah, there was a lot of wickedness in the earth. There was a lot of evil men were doing. Day and night, they were doing evil. They were crafting evil at all times. They were thinking evil. They were dreaming evil. They were acting evil. They were doing every scheme to multiply their wickedness, to multiply their sin. And the Bible says, and when God saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and they, that every imagination of their thoughts was evil continually. Hallelujah. It repented the Lord. The Lord began to regret. Why did I make man? Why did I make Samson? Why did I make you? You is listening to me. I wanted to look 
at yourself reflectively as you listen to this message this hour I want you to look at it reflectively I want you to consider yourself I want you to begin reflecting on your imaginations reflect on your thoughts reflect on your plans reflect on your agenda reflect on your budget reflect on your expenditure reflect on your friendships reflect on your ways on your movements on your writings on what you see what you view on your phone on the computer on the tv i want you to reflect hallelujah god is seeing it whatever you're doing he sees it whatever you're thinking he sees it whatever you do in the dark he sees it whatever you do in the night he sees it whatever you do in a place where nobody knows you where nobody sees you he sees it he sees everything hallelujah and in that time the lord saw the wickedness the lord saw the imaginations of men the lord saw the thoughts of men and it was evil continually it was not evil for one day it was not evil for one week it was evil for continually some of us have done evil continually wickedness continually corruption continually lasted continually yes all mankind has fallen short of the glory of god we all see yes but we are not going to continue that way. There is a resounding right now. There is a call to repentance. There is a call to return back to him. Because God is not happy. Hallelujah. When you see corona, God is not happy. When you see accidents, God is not happy. When you see Ebola, God is not happy. You see HIV AIDS, God is not happy. And all the calamities going on all over the globe. There is sign now that our God is not happy. It is sighing enough that he's regretting. It is sighing enough. He's wondering, what can I do? He has sent men on television and some have changed the messages. He has sent some on YouTube, on social media to carry the gospel all over. And some have turned the messages into something else. They have turned it into a business. They have turned it into something wicked, something evil. People are no longer being blessed. You turn on this TV, you change. You turn to another one, you change. This radio station, you change. This channel, you change. Why? What is coming out is not blessing people. We are full of selfishness. We are full of evil. We are full of lust. We are full of wickedness. We are full of iniquity. We are full of sin. The Lord is not happy. Whoever is listening to me, know this. God is not happy. He's not even hearing our prayers. When we do not repent, the Bible says our prayers become an abomination. Our prayers become detestable. Our prayers become a stench. He is not happy. He's calling each one of us to get on our knees. Each one of us to break down and cry out unto him. And the Lord began saying and says, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the falls of the air, for it repents me that I have made them. The Lord is planning something bigger. The Lord is thinking destruction for the people he created, for the people he loved, for the people he cares for, for the people he supports, for the people he loves dearly. He's wondering, what can I do? For I have been patient enough. I have waited on them patient enough. I have sent messengers, many of them, they have ignored them. Some come speaking slowly, they call them boring preachers. Some come speaking very fast, they say it's too fast. Some come expressionary and they say the man can talk. But they are leaving the message. Tonight, I want you to listen to this. There is a call globally for all of us to return. In 2 Chronicles 7:14, God was very clear that if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and repent of their sins and forsake their sins, then shall I hear from heaven. Then shall I forgive them. Then shall I heal the land. Child of God listening to me, whoever is listening to me, regardless of your belief, regardless of where you pray, I want you to humble yourself down. I want you to know there is a creator in heaven and earth who knows you in and out. I want you to know he cares. I want you to know he has the best plan. I want you to know he is not happy. He wants you to get back on your knees. He used to cry. He used to repent. Sometimes you would forsake your bed. 
Sometimes you would forsake food. Sometimes you would forsake your comfort. Crying out bitterly and telling daddy, I want to be where you are. When is the last time you made such a prayer? When is the last time you broke down in prayer? When is the last time you genuinely repented? When is that last moment? Maybe you need to do that again. And as you do that, I have good news for you. You shall find grace. As God was planning that, the Bible says in verses 8, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. That is what we need. That is what the globe needs. He needs us to find grace. And where do we find grace? When we break down at his feet. When we cry to him in repentance. When we tell him, Daddy, we are sorry. We are sorry for adultery, for evil, for sin, for wickedness, for corruption, for stealing, for robbery, for killing. All sorts of evil and wickedness. I want to tell God, I am sorry. I want to cry out to him. And as we cry to him, mercy is assured. As we cry to him, grace is assured. His grace and mercy are new every morning. Every morning they are waiting for us. God is waiting for somebody who will cry out for repentance. Who will cry out and tell God, I am back at your feet. Who will cry out and tell God, here I am, I'm sorry. Father God, we are sorry. King of kings, we are sorry. Redeemer, we are sorry. Healer, we are sorry. Miracle worker, we are sorry. King of kings, we are sorry. <coughs> Shall you help us, daddy? Shall you redeem us, O oh God? Shall you vindicate us at a time like this? Shall you remember somebody in the name of Jesus? Lord, I pray that the man who will humble themselves, who will cry out, who will tell you, Daddy, I'm sorry, may they find grace. May they find healing. May they find an answer. May they find a solution. May they find a miracle. May they find comfort in your wings, in your arms. When David was confronted with, with, with calamity, he was given three punishments. And he said, I would rather fall in the hands of God. Friends who are listening to me, we need to learn in the hands of God. The doctor's arms are not safe enough. Being in hospital is not enough. Being on ventilators is not enough. Being on oxygen is not safe enough. Being in the, in the state house, in the palaces, it is not safe enough. We need to be where God dwells. We need to dwell where he dwells. And the only pathway to that is to break down, is to repent, is to cry to him and tell him, Daddy, we are sorry. When you read Psalm 51, when David had sinned, he began to repent. And in verses 10, he says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. That should be a daily prayer for each one of us who is listening to me and myself. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then I will teach to us graces thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, that thou, God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desires not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delights not in burnt offerings. 17. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, and a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou will not despise. That is what God is desiring of each one of us. He wants us to break down. Church, break down. You is listening to me, break down. Look at your soul. Evaluate your soul. Reflect on who you are. Reflect on your ways. Reflect on your thoughts. Reflect on your deeds. This is a message for me and you. It is for all of us. Reflect and break down. Weep bitterly. Cry bitterly. Our God is full of grace. Our God is full of mercy. I know He will hear your cry. I know He will hear your repentance. Repent and you shall live. Repent and healing shall come. Repent and change will come. Repent and grace and mercy shall come our way. That is the message I had for you this hour. And I pray you reflect on it throughout the week and let the Lord walk through you. And I'm telling you, if you break down, you humble down, 
and when he's telling daddy I'm sorry and you return at his feet and you tell him to take our wickedness and you tell him to, to separate you from evil let me tell you good news shall come your way before this way let us pray Father in the name of Jesus we repent before you I come before you as an individual as one you've called as one you love as one you paid for on the cross Lord forgive me for every sin forgive me for every iniquity forgive me for every war forgive me, forgive me, forgive me and Lord I cry out for the people I serve with Lord forgive us the people I live Lord forgive us my family Lord forgive us my clansmen Lord forgive us forgive my neighborhood forgive my district forgive metropolitan Kampala forgive Ugandans Lord forgive our leaders Forgive the religious leaders. Forgive every kind of leader. Everyone in authority who has misused it. Lord, forgive us. Forgive us as East Africa. As Africans, forgive us. Lord, as your inhabitants, as reflectors of your image all over the globe, forgive us, O oh God. As your chosen people, as the people that you paid for on the cross, Lord, forgive us. Lord, have mercy. Release mercy. And just as Noah found grace, and because you found grace, you were able to deliver him together with his people, Lord, shall you deliver us. Thank you because you do it. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. service. We bless the name of the Lord. At this moment we want to honor God by giving unto him. You can give following the, the numbers that are on the screen. You can give to God and God is going to bless you. Hallelujah. But before you give, I want to pray for the offertory. Heavenly Father, we want to give you the honor praise for the offertory given Lord, we pray that you bless them. Bless the work of their hands, my master. Make them prosper. Watch over them. Make them healthy. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. I want to remind you that you can follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and even Twitter. Thank you for watching us. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Watch us again next Sunday, same time. God bless you.